So here we are again with Doug Goat from uh, the United States. He will describe his position, which is again a real honor to have you back. He used to be the director of the Exascale Compute Project in the United States and a uh, returning visitor to Multicore World, which is again a real pleasure. Why? <laughs> Why return? Yes. <laughs> Look, this is, a, uh, this is a really great conference that I'm going to kind of put in my calendar moving forward. Last year, as you know, was the first time that I attended, and thank you for that invitation. Um, and what I, what I look at is what are, what are the topics, and probably more importantly, who is attending? And you have managed to recruit some of the top leaders in our field. And so it's not just uh, coming to a beautiful place in New, in, uh, New Zealand, but it's really interacting with uh, friends and colleagues and leaders in the field. And I, I can't tell you how much I learn and how, how much I walk away with in terms of collaborations and, and actions in my current job. So I, I really view this as a tremendous learning and frankly being an experience where I can be mentored by some of the best in, in the world. But you can interact with these people anywhere in the world, but all of you come here and it's a big ocean to cross. That's true. Uh, admittedly, uh, at my age, a 14-hour flight is, is difficult. But there's, there's something very different with in-person interactions in the hallway, you know, sidebar conversations, relative to just a team session where we have 30 minutes to hit one particular topic. And so this sort of fortuitous, you know, interactions that um, we, we really have missed since COVID is really crucial. I've, I've made a a bunch of new contacts actually and old contacts and I'm walking away with some some good potential collaboration so that's what I'm here for. Speaking about the collaboration I mean you used to manage or currently manage you will describe me for me in a second a significant budget in, in the billions and managing uh, teams distributed in very strategic areas. Now uh, New Zealand as a whole is smaller than a state of the United States, which is not necessarily an issue. It's, in my humble opinion, an advantage because we are known to be nimble yeah. and strategic. Yeah. And we know that many of your projects are open source, so we can leverage this and that. But can you give me your thoughts about these two type of speeds? You manage one of the largest budgets in the largest uh, technological power of the world, and we are the nimble guys that are unnoticed. Which are the advantages of one or two, of both sides? Well, I, you definitely need large resources in many cases to tackle problems of national and international interests. But I will say large projects and programs can be really uh, encumbered by uh, kind of milestones and making sure cost schedule performance is there because when you have a huge investment, you need to really give good return on taxpayer investment. So in the Exascale Computing Project, we, I am proud of the fact that we worked hard on trying to be nimble and agile, but smaller activities uh, can, more e can more easily be agile. And I think larger projects and programs that I've been involved with often do suffer from just, you know, not being able to manage change, not being able to recognize that, that failure is okay. And, you know, and the agile philosophy is fail early, fail often, and learn. And so, uh, you know, I think smaller activities it's certainly, uh, uh, are certainly ad advantageous uh, from an agility point of view. I, I will just comment that in the Exascale Computing Project, we've broken into 80 smaller projects, and each of the smaller projects, 80. yeah, 80, 80 <laughs> smaller projects that, that uh, we're allowed to execute in a very agile fashion. So I think, you know, in the end, we, we were agile, but in small, in small pieces. And I think that's, you have to do that in high performance computing and I think artificial intelligence and just software in general, you have to be agile because you don't know your requirements uh, right off the bat. You have to iterate on design and quality requirements. Functional maybe you know, but agile is essential to be able to succeed. Thank you very much and we will welcome you back next year hopefully. Thanks, Thanks Nicholas, really enjoyed it. Thank you.